Well, good morning. Uh, I've been stirring around. I really worked yesterday. I worked myself to where I couldn't hardly sleep last night. I washed three loads of clothes. And my dryer's on the blink. I don't know what's wrong with it. Instead of going to the wash chair and drying them, or even washing them, I decided I'd hang them out on the clothesline. Well, they was dry within about an hour, hour and a half, all of it. Time I'd get one load done, I'd go out there and check, you know, hanging it up, and some of the others, the loads was already dry. And I gotta get around, put the new washer, the dryer in. And I've got my doorway that goes right into it's real small, and the dryer won't fit through there. So I gotta go through the kitchen, through the dining room, through the bedroom, through the hallway, into the bathroom that way. You know, the front bath's got the washer and dryer in it. So, uh, that's what I gotta do. And I just hadn't feel like moving all that stuff to get it down through there. And since they, uh, when you order a dryer or something like that, they just set it on the front porch or the front stoop or whatever. They don't, they don't hook them up because of COVID anymore. So there you go. I'm gonna have to do all that stuff myself. I've been making jewelry. Which do you like the best? The, uh, this, the two? Or do you like the three? Let's see if I can get it right. Do that for right. That'll help. There, the three. I don't know. There we go. Or the two. <laughs> I need to buy some more leather. And the, I there's the three. And there's the two. And let's see what else I did. Oh, I worked. Uh, I did the laundry. I took the trash to the curb. I had to pull that polycarb all the way down to the curb. It was only about half full. And then I worked on bathrooms, straightening them up and cleaning them and sterilizing them and all that good crap. And then I worked on the kitchen and I cleaned out, took everything off the counters, wiped all that down, bleached it all. And then uh, now I gotta work in the dining room today. I feel good. But I worked so bad yesterday, my hip, oh my god, my hip was so, I was in such pain. Let me see how many hours. I got five hours of sleep, but that was two different spits. Last night I slept about three hours. I hurt so bad. And uh, I even tried that stuff you rub on, you know, for, you know uh, DP or whatever. I took one pain pill earlier that afternoon, so I didn't take no more medicine. But it, man, my hip hurts so bad. Kept me from going to sleep good. Mm. Baby girl's already, she'll get out of the, the, the cover that I've got for the, all the uh, divan. Instead of using the little baby blankets, she'll get out of the big cover. I got a big quilt, throw it across the divan when they get up there so they won't ruin that old divan. She likes to tear up things and get under it. I put down a towel as they come in so they can, you know, run across that towel and dry their feet off. And then I put another towel before they go into the front room. And I can tell Ori stop, and he'll stop so I can wipe his feet off. The rest of them just keep running. Don't mind good. <sighs> but that's about all I've been doing, watching the news. But well, they said some of them, some of the uh, bills were gonna be high. Look at this, my glasses. Yeah, <laughs> you imagine? And it does that. It does that. It does that. I like that part better. <laughs> I bought these things. I don't know. A couple of years ago, played with Halloween or something. 
I'll tell you. I took my medicine this morning and I took my blood pressure. It was all right. My sugar level was 128, so that's really good. Uh, but I didn't eat very much supper last night. In fact, I was so tired I really didn't eat supper. I just made me an egg sandwich and said that's good enough. I was done. Uh, I've been trying to straighten it up in this house. That's a lifetime job. I need, and I, I need to clean out this behind here. Take all this down because it's just. Uh, tarps, canvas stuff, I split the sunroom off from the front room so I could, because uh, it's all open all the way across. So I wouldn't have to heat up everything, cutting down on the heating bill, because they told us to conserve. I stay in the front room anyway, and I just use the front part of the house, which is the half of the front room now, the kitchen, and the dining room is open, so I have to leave it open. And in the front bathroom, I don't use the bedrooms or nothing in the back. I just use it for storage, I guess, anymore. I still. Oh, uh, my daughter's supposed to come next weekend, and I'm going to give some uh, these to my great uh, great grandkids. And I got a bag of toys that I bought. It's the things you put in machines, the little round plastic ball that you what, put a quarter or 50 cents in and wind it up and one of them balls come down full of toys inside of them, little plastic things. I got a big bag of them. I bought them last year at the at a garage sale. The old boy went belly up and uh, uh, so he had to shut down his machines. So I bought a lot of the toys off of it. I bought a big bag of them for five bucks. I don't know what the hell. Kids that like to play with them. That's what I'm <laughs> My granddaughter will probably be mad in the heck when they get that shit scattered all over the house. Oh, give them something to do. She's going to quit her job and cost her $2,500 a month for daycare. Four children, and uh, she's going to uh, start an Etsy shop and, and an eBay shop, making T-shirts, uh, hats, and other items, reselling what she finds at Goodwill, and you know, revamping it and whatever. I told her, "Well, I'll send my jewelry through, and leave, leave, uh, sell it on commission or whatever." Yeah, that's something like that. Hmm. Send me at the start, but I probably like to just go over and pop the little and shit. That way, give her a bigger variety. That's basically what I'm gonna do. Give her something to uh, me, some way to get rid of it, and her some way to make extra money. This thing takes the same battery as my blood check machine. Don't know how to get into it, though. Oh, good lord, you'd have to take it all apart just to get into it to change the battery. It's a toy, anyway. I've got a bunch of stuff that I've got planned to do today, but I hurt so bad. I'm going to finish up straightening up the kitchen and then go move into the dining room. I've already got the bathrooms done. Part of the, 90% of the kitchen's done. I, I moved the, the propane tanks in that one bathroom. Uh, in case I still need them, I can still go back there and get them, but I don't have to stumble over them. And then uh, I just got a bunch of little things I want to get done. Uh, I got to pour out some more dog poo. I see the dogs are all getting low on the dog poo. Uh, you never get done around here. They're all laying up sleeping. They've been out. <laughs> they got me up early this morning, and I watched an early morning guy. 
and make some comments on his channel. He has a live hangout every morning, real early. He starts off about 5 o'clock. And then he runs to about 8 o'clock. So I watch 90% of his show. This talks about odds and ends. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about taking one of the microwaves. I got two microwaves in there. Two convection ovens, plus the big oven on the stove. Toaster ovens, got two of them. I need to slim down some of that stuff. I don't need... What I've got is a... Well, I've got two, two different toasters, too. That's uh, one of the dozen muffins or bagels, and then one of the dozen slices of bread. What I need is a bigger kitchen. Hell, it's... My kitchen is 20 foot long and about... 15 foot wide. I, don't know, I guess I need a 30 footer. Uh, I ain't got that much wall space. That's what I need more wall space. Uh, and the dining rooms, it's about a 20 by 20. Mm. This house, I made big rooms. My wife had, was in a wheelchair and I made the rooms extra large so she could drive around through them. And it, I wasn't a, I was still a hoarder, but I didn't bring it in the house back then because she wouldn't let me. So I, it was pretty well an empty house. And then if she wanted something, I'd had to go get it at the shop or down at the barn or one of the old houses I had. And, uh, of course, now that she's gone, I moved a bunch of extra stuff in here all but her bedroom. It's like it was when she left. Uh, I told my daughter to come and get some of this. I got some pieces of the mama stuff I want to give her. Before I chop it up and make something else of it. <laughs> I love turquoise. Uh, that sad, what is that said? Flagstaff turquoise or something that's more expensive than other turquoise. Uh, there's all kinds of turquoise. Her favorite stone was opal. Fire opals or red and black opals. She loved her opals. Of course, all of them like gold and diamonds. You tell me a woman don't like a diamond, I'm telling something wrong with her. Her birthstone was an opal, that's why she liked opals. My birthstone is Blackstone or something in August. I don't wear that much jewelry anyway. I got my medical bracelet. Does that count? And a wear watch. This one here tells you everything. I got 333 steps in this morning. Uh, I got five hours and 33 minutes worth of sleep, but that was two different skits. It, it, I went to sleep yesterday evening, and then at midnight, and then it recounts itself. So I got, last night, I got five hours worth of sleep. I'm going to take a nap today, and then try to finish up that kitchen. As you started that dining room, but oh, God, I need a bunch of boxes i like to go buy me some boxes. Yeah, we've got too much crap going at one time. Oh, that's... I had this bunch of these turquoise stones, and I'm making this stuff out of it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to have for supper. I'll figure it out, though. Give me time. Where my motto is. Most of them people that just watch half of a video, they miss the best part. Because <laughs> I usually start talking about other stars at the end of it. I had these silver beads. Boy, silvers went up. Ooh, Lord. Turquoise is about the same price. 
I found out you can get a bunch of sales on Hobby Lobby. This is my next door neighbor down by the way. Uh, uh, the young couple. He's a man. Uh, well, he works for management or corporate. That's what they call it. He works for corporate. At, for Hobby Lobby, and he's telling me all the sales, and uh, I use his get to use his discount, and some of that stuff's pretty damn cheap when you do it that way. They don't pay much for stuff. They buy it. They got big. It's like Walmart. They they let people uh, haggle over the prices so they can sell it. You know, like Walmart or run out a product, well what they ain't running out of a product, they just, they won't haggle the price, like, you get used, to, they got some standard stuff, like, uh, good value or whatever, but sometimes you can, uh, like, uh, buy a certain kind of ham or whatever, if they don't get it at their price, they'll just, they just won't, you know, just continue it off their shelves, well, same way with Hobby Lobby. They go to Taiwan, Thai, whatever, Indonesia, wherever the hell they can buy it from, and if they can't buy it at their price, because now they're going, they're going to order thousands, if not millions, of that product, and of course they want a big discount because they put it in every store, and uh, that's where they get some stuff pretty cheap. Well, I'm getting a lot of these prices at his at the wholesale. The, their prices, basically, wholesale prices or something like that. Um, but like I said, this turquoise that I bought off them, and I bought some out there in Quartzite. That some of that stuff's pretty damn expensive. Uh, but uh, this turquoise I get off them is pretty pretty reasonable. I mean, how do you? You can't make jewelry out of some of them stones. That's be like me taking some of them. Burmese rubies out. Hell, a Burmese ruby costs you five, six thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, I was gonna take all the damn good stones and put them in a walking stick. Well, my first thing, pain was I was gonna put them in my Paul Steve. <laughs> Couldn't find a dentist to do it, so hell, I put some in a walking stick I got. But the rest of them I didn't chop up. I started chopping up this other shit. Like, I had a bunch of this Mardi Gras shit from going to the Mardi Gras all the time. I've been playing with it. You learn something there every day. Well, you guys had that great day. What the hell? About time. I'm going to take me another nap before I get started today. I need to take once a day. I don't even know what day it is. Weekends. But sometime this week, I think it's day's Tuesday, I'm going to take my pickup in and get the oil changed. Then I'm going to turn around and take my ambulance in and get the oil changed. That's the two that needs the oil changed. It's over $100 change your oil in that ambulance. It takes so damn many quarts of your gallons or whatever. Uh, and then I'm going to restock it and get it ready to go camping. I guess I ain't never gonna get no uh, COVID shot. Uh, need big old piece of turquoise. I guess I could. I thought about when I got them. I thought about you know doing the wire bales and all that other stuff. On them. But if the the holes in them are big enough, I can put them on leather. Well, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna take my. I'm gonna go back and take me another nap. My blood sugar was 126, and the rest of my vitals were good. And uh, that's about all I got going. Of course, like I said, if I get the rest of the kitchen done today and then start on that dining room, uh, my big problem is I've got too much stuff. In that kitchen alone, there's two regular, there's a bagel toaster with a little toaster oven in the bottom, and a regular four-slice toaster, two microwaves, 
two convection ovens plus the big oven on the stove. And uh, it, I just got stuff stacked on top of it. There's probably six to eight uh, pots and pan sets, whatever you want to call them, damn things. I know I got about six of them. Complete sets. Uh, and then I got my, all my cast iron. And that ain't even counting the cast iron that's in the bus, in storage, or it's in the hamlets. You know, or in storage. I need a complete wall so I can hang all my cast iron. I bought a big rack that hangs from the ceiling. That's what I should do. But I didn't think I wanted to duck every time I went by or a cast iron pop fall off on my head and kill me. I'm going to let you guys go. Have that great day and remember one another. Like I said, uh, I'm going to make some stuff up for my granddaughters and uh, keeping myself busy. That's what counts. But my hips been bothering me so bad that I'm going to when I get to the doctor, I'm going to have him do another x-ray of my hip and back, my lower spine. Because it's affecting my walking really bad and my sleeping more than anything else. And I hate to take medication. To, you know, I'd rather try to relieve the problem. I've been rubbing been gay on it and everything else and some other DP. I'm going to go find me some more heating pads my daughter took on when she went through the change of life she ended up taking or losing or whatever all my heating pads so I'm gonna find buy me some more uh, put it on my back maybe that'll make it feel better I've got a, a vibrating pad that you lay down and lay on it and it'll, well, it's supposed to fit this chair and it'll vibrate all your back and your hips, your buttocks, your legs, and every damn thing else. Uh, that vibration, I should go to a chiropractor, maybe that'll help. As my wife said, well, they're not a real doctor. I said, hell, I got a doctor, and I ain't no damn real doctor either. <laughs> so that's a different. So they, uh, they claim that they can write prescriptions. I thought, I can't write no damn prescriptions. A chiropractor can write a prescription like a psychiatrist can. That's what I need to do, learn to be a psychiatrist. Everybody's crazy, and let's start from there. I gotta make my uh, youngest granddaughter some earrings. She doesn't wear. Uh, uh, bracelets or necklaces, anything else. She wears either. She works in a gym all the time. You know, goes out to the gym and works out. That's what I'm saying. When she gets off work, and she said, "Well, pop, I take I take my necklace off, bracelets off, her watch off, everything else." She said, "The only thing I don't take out is my earrings." And I, she said, just make me up a bunch of earrings. Now, the oldest granddaughter, she said, make me up everything. She wears everything. <laughs> she said, now, if you make me a necklace, make it heavy duty, because my youngest baby grandpa reaches up there and pulls on the, the necklaces. I said, okay. I'm going to let you go. Have a great one. Remember, subscribe like they tell you. Hit the bell. Make a comment. Share. Hell, I ain't gonna ever get no new subscribers. No good. I guess if I mooch and beg, I could. Well, they've got a bunch of them moochers and beggars out there. Why the hell would I want to do that? Uh, hell, I can't even get them to send me a damn birthday card. Or a Christmas card. Or a happy Easter card. Take care and have a great one, though.